from Creamer Media in Johannesburg, this is The Real Economy Report. Technology and service supplier FL Smith is transforming from an engineering company to a technology partner through its current Core 26 strategy, and this is already realizing benefits for clients, such as helping them meet sustainability targets. Tasneem Bubulia explains. The change in strategy was aimed at allowing the group to move away from its previous broader engineering scope to focusing on technology and services that engender productivity improvements for mining clients and assist them with meeting sustainability targets while also optimizing performance for financial benefits. FLD Smith Mining Site and Services sells Sub-Saharan Africa, Middle East and South Asia VP Alistair McKay expands. Over the last century we've developed into a mining specific company and we've got a core strategy at the moment that really drives our initiatives, our focus around technology, advancements and very much the mission zero drive around how do we add value to our clients in the mining industry, focusing on the future, ensuring that there's a sustainability in mining that we can contribute and add value to our partners and our customers. The change in strategy from Ethel Schmidt is very targeted to becoming the technology partner to our customers. Whereas previously we used to be more of an engineering company which dealt with integrational scope, it dealt with um, a much broader spectrum. And what we found was that in that arena we were not able to contribute the value. It was not our core set of competencies or our skill sets and ultimately we weren't in lowering the risk associated with any of the projects that we were doing for our, for our customers. So Core 26 is really coming back to the heart of Ethel Schmidt Mining and saying, how do we focus all of our efforts into technology? The technology is focused around productivity improvements for our clients. The technology is focused around how do we contribute in terms of their drives, in terms of sustainability, reduction of CO2 footprints, saving of water, saving of power. And it also talks towards their financials. Uh, what are they seeking out of their ore bodies? And of course that talks to roads, how do we get more from less? And ultimately, you know, it really wraps up in terms of being that partner, not only for the initial two to three years during a capital investment, but really the 30 to 40 years where the mine remains operational and ensuring that we continually partner around optimization of the flow sheet, optimization of our equipment, and making sure that our clients really are achieving the best they possibly can from our technology. McKay expands on the four pillars that Core 26 is built on mainly technology, sustainability, service and performance. So technology, yes, very much focused around the future. It's focused around how we apply our technology into a sustainable mining future and really talking towards grade and recovery. In other words, you know, how do we help our clients achieve more out of their current ore bodies? How do we assist them in reducing their ongoing operational expenses? And ultimately, you know, how do we make this business more profitable for them? Another key element of that is sustainability. Whatever we focus on at the moment has to be ensuring that there's a sustainable future for mining. Mining has to be with us for a long time into the future, particularly driven by the fact that the green energy transition is going to be with us, it's going to demand more copper, it's going to demand more the lithiums, the cobalts of the world. So mining is critical and we need to ensure that our clients and our customers can actually themselves sustainably mine and, and execute their work. So then the third pillar of our Core 26 strategy is very much around service. And I think as I explained a bit earlier, the transition from a engineering company that focuses very much on the front end capital installation compared to a technology partner who focuses over the entire life cycle of this asset means that we're focusing a lot more attention in terms of what happens after the equipment is installed. How do we ensure that we provide the right technical expertise on site? in terms of ongoing operations, ongoing training, how do we ensure that we're getting the right information in terms of digital solutions around the optimum performance of the equipment and ultimately it talks towards what does that partnership look like in terms of um, the necessary spares holding, the necessary wares holding and really partnering with our clients for that 30 year when the life, when the mine is actually in operation. So that forms the third pillar and the fourth pillar really is around performance. You know ultimately whatever we're doing be it technology, sustainability or service, it's got to make financial sense and financial performance is super critical for any sustainable mining operation. So it's bringing in that component of, again, how do we 
get more from less? How do we ensure that the grade and recovery that's coming through our plant is optimized? How do we ensure that raw water consumption is reduced, energy consumption is reduced? And we see the pressure mounting with our clients at the moment as the inflation pressures are coming through in terms of reducing the operating costs. So really it's a, the fourth pillar is incorporating both or all three of them really, sustainability, ultimately that of um, service and the actual sustainability to make it profitable and to ensure that our, our customers can continue to invest in mines in the future. McKay highlights the response to the strategy thus far. We've had an overwhelmingly, overwhelmingly positive response and I think the focus that F.O. Schmidt is providing to our clients and our customers in enabling them to meet their sustainability goals has been one of the key um, attributes that, they, that they've highlighted and again you know the simple example of um, our client up in Zambia where he's able to reduce the carbon footprint by 33,000 tonnes of equivalent CO2 per year just through adopting our input crushing and conveying solution I think that's that's a massive contribution and we've seen a positive feedback from the market there because our clients themselves have shareholders and have boards and have their own goals that they're aspiring to. So we've seen very positive feedback and response in terms of that ongoing focus from our side around sustainability. And I think the service focus, as our clients are also getting into a position where they also have the challenge of less and less experienced people within this industry and having to train up and having to transfer those skills, they've certainly seen the benefit of our focus, less so on the capital, but moving across into the service side. McKay outlines how this all aligns to the group's sustainability drive. Our sustainability drive is really around where can we significantly impact uh, the business and positively so. Certainly on our client side, Mission Zero encompasses our ability to reduce the carbon footprint and particularly the use of fossil fuels on site. And there we sort of discuss the example of the input crushing, crushing solution as compared to your normal haulage trucks. The other option that of course we were considering was the reduction in water consumption on our plants and again water is becoming a scarce commodity in its own right and the ability to reuse as much of that water as possible is becoming super critical to our clients. Of late we've seen the failure of a lot of tailings dams on the traditional wet tailings disposal met methodology so again the ability to dry as much of the final disposed tailings and to reuse that water as well as having a dry stacking facility for our tailings is aiding the overall safety of those dams as well and I think lastly it's the energy consumption energy is becoming more and more expensive around the world and the ability to reduce energy consumption at every opportunity is having a huge impact onto our clients we then tie that up with our own ESG drive where together with our focus on how are we managing our own environmental impact? McKay outlines the role of research and development. The R&D is an ongoing focus for us now and, and particularly with our Core 26 strategy of focusing on the plant of the future, on our Mission Zero strategy. It sees us applying R&D right from the front end, right from your original crushing, right the way through milling, flotation and all the way through to the final product. To mention just a few at the moment, I'm thinking of the reflux flotation cell. Uh, this is a really exciting flotation technology. It has been born out of transitioning a technology from the coal industry and bringing it into flotation. We've seen significant benefits in terms of the reduction in flotation time, which has a benefit around reagent consumption as well as energy consumption. we also seen the ability to now retrofit new technology. The Wemco cell, as an example, has been around for many, many years and a plethora of installations all around our region. And now to come through with an improved um, um, uh, air, air dispersion system, um, improved recoveries that, that arise from that, again, you know, it's the ability to add value to our clients through R&D, both in the greenfield capital environment as well as then on the brownfields environment. And those are just two simple examples, but we take it all the way through in terms of our pump technology and we think of our HPGR Pro, again, which is focused around rotating um, side, side discs or panels where we are able to improve the throughput by 20% and at the same time reduce 
energy efficiency by 15%. So all of those talk towards a holistic solution where R&D is applied across the full flow sheet and how we continue to try to achieve our goals of reducing water consumption, reducing energy consumption. From an effluent perspective, we're now probably two years into the journey almost around our core 26 strategy, around the pure play of the mining company of Eiffel Schmidt. It's very much a journey that we're embarking on and it's a journey that we definitely want to be taking with our customers. There's a learning process underway and I think this is something together with Mission Zero that we want to drive together with our customers. We can't be doing it on our own and I think that collaboration between ourselves is something that will create value for our clients and our customers and ultimately enable us to then continue to improve our technology and our value contribution back to our clients. That's Creamer Media's Real Economy Report. Join us again next week for more news and insights into South Africa's real economy. And don't forget to listen to the audio version of our engineering news daily email newsletter.